Step into the office. What up, y'all? We started our day a little early. We got this $18 order, eight miles. It's $9.50. Yeah, I'll take that. But I want to talk about a little topic today. Uh, stay tuned. First, thanks for all the well wishes uh, from the little thing that happened yesterday. I'm good. I wasn't worried. I wasn't scared. Uh, I was more surprised about what happened. You can check the video off from yesterday. I'm not going to get into it. For those that think it was staged or I did that for clicks and views, you don't know who, you don't must not, you don't know me very well and you haven't been watching this channel that long. I pray that you have a better day. Hi, let's have a pickup for Emily. Thanks. All right, we got both of those pickups. Now we're four miles, about four miles away from uh, the drop-offs. Drop-offs close. So today's video, we're going to be talking about something. I, a situation I saw the other day I filmed that you might have seen a clip in the beginning, and I'm going to show one in a moment here. Um, I think we have to remember these merchants, okay? If you walk in as a Dasher, Grubhub driver, Uber Eats, whatever, right? If you're doing Lyft or Uber Rideshare, right? And, you know, customers can complain on you. Merchants can call in on DoorDash, guys, and tell them, hey, Pedro came in here. He wasn't wearing a mask. He was rude. He went behind my counter. He grabbed the food, you know, caused a scene, whatever. They can actually either get you deactivated, possibly, or have you to where they, you know, offers from that particular merchant won't show up when you're out trying to make money. So let's dive a little deeper. So I'll paint you guys a little bit of picture. I'm sitting there waiting. I'm at a wing stop on South Grand waiting for the food. Guy walks in, uh, no mask. Now, whether you believe in masks or don't believe in masks, if a place says you need to wear a mask, that's the rules. You got to wear a mask as a dasher. It point blank period. It is what it is. There's the rules that they set. So he walks in, doesn't have a mask. He doesn't really acknowledge or say anything about that. Sorry, you have to have a mask. You have to have a mask. Then he goes behind, like there's like a little walkway, but you, you know, that's for them to make the drinks. And uh, they put the bags there. There's like a little shelf there. You can see it to the right. And he goes, starts looking at the bag. He grabs it. Bag's not even his. She takes it from him. Sir, what are you doing? You can't come back here. Please leave. You got to have a mask on. He's like, oh, I'm here for a DoorDash. I got da da da, sir. That's not even the right. It's not even the right bag. And you know, there's a scene. He leaves. And then he kind of comes back in. Still doesn't have a mask on. Another conversation. Then he goes back, gets a mask, and they wind up actually giving him the food. But I'm still waiting there for mine. He leaves, um, and they basically say, "Oh, we're calling DoorDash. That guy's never coming back in here again. If he is coming back in here, we ain't giving him no food. He's not a customer. We're not servicing him. We're not. You know, he's not gonna. He." He's banned, is what the girl said. Now, she's saying that in the heat of passion. Who knows if she's really going to call DoorDash to report him. You know, did he do something wrong? Yeah, he was rude. Can't go behind the counter. You can't grab things. You got to, you know, got to follow rules. Um, he could, could he be deactivated? Sure, probably. Could. It's possible. Do I think DoorDash will do something? Who knows? I think it depends on the support agent. It depends on how far that manager or that merchant wants to take it. But it's something you have to remember while we're out here. As dashers, we have terms of service, right? And one of them is you can't be disrespectful, rude, whatever. You can't have certain behavior towards customers and or stores and merchants. So, you know, we have to remember that. And I think it's really easy for us to get frustrated with stores. They're short staffed. Maybe they're rude to us. Maybe we've been waiting a long time. Maybe they told us five minutes, but it's already been 10. We start sitting there, we're getting upset. Hey, I've been there. We've We've, we've all been there, right? But it's not what happens, it's how you react to it, right? So if the guy walks in, you know, maybe he doesn't know. It's his first day, he doesn't know he can't go and grab that bag by himself. All he has to do is say, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, let me go get my mask. I'm sorry, I got Pedro's order, is it ready? Situation averted, right? And then he can keep on making money. But that particular person, I sat there and talked to the manager that was there, I was like, I'm, I'm calling DoorDash, that guy's crazy. Uh, and she starts going off for a couple of minutes, right? So. What do you guys think? Like, do we have a responsibility to act respectful, kind with the merchants, regardless of situation? I think we do. Um, I think if my, my opinion and my uh, my thought is if, if a manager at a store, a hostess, a bartender, a server, whatever, curbside pickup people, if they're acting rude to you, hey, you might want to give it back, but you got to remember you're taking a little bit of a risk there, right? 
on how they're going to react. Could they ban you from their store from seeing orders and then maybe that affects your money? Do you even do you even want to go to a place where you're having a competition like that? I know I don't. I got five places in the market I just don't go to because of either long waits or rude staff. I just decide not to give them my energy and I don't go and pick up food. I don't do business with them is what I say. Even if the order's good, I don't go to the Steak and Shake on Hampton. I pass up 10, 20, 30 really decent offers based on the fact that the history of that store is really bad. And I just refuse to go, right? But we have to understand as drivers, they can actually kick us off the platform or kick us off from getting orders from their store. What do you guys think? Let me ask you a question. Do you think merchants should be able to kick or ban dashers from certain stores or the platform altogether? Do you think they should have that much control and or power or say in how, if, if we make money based on if we make, maybe we're having a bad day and we're just rude? What do you think? You get a disgruntled manager that's been working 10, 12 hours all day by herself. She's upset. Somebody walks in and grabs a bag and she said, you know, she sasses him, he sasses her, and then now she calls DoorDash and boom, he can't pick up any more wing stop or maybe he can't work at all because she made up a little lie. What do you guys think? All right, so enough of that. We're on our way to the second drop off. It says wait in cars, you see here, and I only ever see that with Uber Eats. Why is that an option? Why is that? I'm, I'm going to a house. It's not like I'm going to a hotel and they're going to come down or something. Why is waiting car an option on this app? I feel like, is that a default option? Or do they type that in? But I've only seen it on Uber Eats, so I kind of feel like that's an Uber Eats option a customer has. Wait in car. Huh. What do you guys do when this happens, when you see this on Uber Eats? Do you simply just wait there? Do you text them? Do you take it to the door anyway? What do you do? I call the guy, but... He didn't respond. I'll leave it up here. All right, so I called the second time and he picked up. He came and got it. There was a table, as you saw, I said it there. All right, so let's see what we get today. I'm not, I don't know how much I'll record. Uh, I got a few errands to run, but you guys get what happens every day. It is what it is. So. But I really want you guys' thoughts in the comments about do you think merchants should be able to, or have you run into this issue personally to where they can um, call DoorDash on you? I think there are some really, really, really bad DoorDash or, or geek drivers overall that just are sloppy, rude, um, you know, don't follow certain directions or whatever, disrespectful, and yeah, get those guys off the app. They make all of us look bad, right? But I do think it's it could be interesting to, to, to give a store manager that much power over us and our making money ability. All right, I guess it's gonna be Uber Eats day. So I don't think I put a split screen for a screen shot, but $8, it was five miles. I almost didn't take it, Starbucks. Um, pretty close to Starbucks. It's taking me to a spot that uh, could be a good area to be in at about 10.40 or so, 10.45 by the time I get there. So I took it, let's go pick it up. Um, Maybe sometimes Uber, I've noticed that they, they, they tend to stack, but Uber's just not as popping as DoorDash in my area. So I don't expect stacks as much as I do from uh, DoorDash as I get on Uber Eats, but sometimes it happens. But I've seen stacks as low as like $1.50. Like they'll add a dollar fifty route. I mean, who's taking that? I mean, there has to be somebody, otherwise it wouldn't be an option, but like, it's crazy, right? Let's go inside and pick this bad boy up. Starbucks actually has a drive-thru, but we ain't doing that. We pulling up, we walking inside. I think we got a curb. Yep, we're just gonna do it right here. All right, we got this one right here, $11, two items, Panera. I haven't been to Panera for a pickup, at least this Panera, in weeks. But uh, it was 12 items, seven miles, it was going south. One of the drop-offs looks like it's a, uh, like a hospital down there, a little facility rehab. Those can be super tricky. Those are like either absolute hit, like bangers or hit or miss. I said, you know what? I ain't been to Panera in a minute. Let's check it out. Let's see what we get here. Let's go. 
And don't forget, as we talk about on this channel, I have my, you know, uh, DoorDash on. I keep it on. So if I get a good one, I take it. So I got it waiting in the queue. Don't be turning them off and on, guys. Listen, unless you're on a route that's going to be a while, keep it on. You might get a good one. Got it waiting for you. You drop your Starbucks off on Uber. Then, boom, you got one already in the DoorDash app waiting for you. Always making money. Staying busy. No downtime. $139.74 is just one of the orders. I knew one of them was big because it said 12 items and I saw the little building. What do you guys think? Is this going to be more than 11 bucks? The first order is $20, $26 worth of food. Uh, the other one is $139. I'm going to guess right now that the $139 order is going to have a $25 tip on it. I think this order is going to go from 11 to $30 total. That's my guess because I already looked at it. One six bucks, one is five. The $6 indication on the $139 is good because they pay you 25 cents less per in base pay when they stack it. So my base pay is $2. They're showing me $4 tip. They hide tips that are larger than $4. They hide them on DoorDash. It is what it is. For my newbies, follow along. I'll show you this as we go along. So yeah, I think this is going to be $30. What do y'all think? Put it in the comments below. And since we're on the topic of, you know, being a good dasher, making sure you have good relations with your merchants because they can get you kicked off or make it hard for you to make money if you're not kind. You know, I said I haven't gone to this Panera and I haven't picked up an order from here because the last time I did, I had to unassign it because they were super long. They were just, they did not have this stuff together. It's probably been two weeks, maybe a little bit more. Um, give me a couple of places you guys just refuse to go to. I know some of you guys have shown me told me this before we've asked this question a couple times what are a couple places you don't like to go to and why and if an offer came through on one of your places what would that order offer have to be what's the amount that might take you to go back there for example i don't like steak and shake okay but if i had a 30 dollar order going a couple miles i probably would go i might consider it that's my dollar amount to go back what would yours be at the places you don't like to go I'm going to call it right now. Either I'm going to be in here for two minutes or 15. Let's see which one it is. Oh, I see one of them right now. All right, we got one. Waiting on one more. That bag is red. Budweiser sign action. That is an old sign right there, guys. All right, this first drop off is at a school. It, gets, it does give me some really good directions as far as like park here between the church, between the school, blah, blah. But uh, I try to call them because it says contactless delivery. This is one of those orders that goes through probably on the Panera website. The customer ordered on the, their website, not DoorDash's. So uh, it automatically defaults to contactless. So let's see, hopefully they're ready. Straight. Hopefully they're uh, ready to receive this. I don't want to just put it anywhere. All right. So these school deliveries and like hospital type place deliveries are the sometimes can be the worst because they're not ready for you sometimes because they're busy doing other things. But you know it is what it is. Some, I've spent a lot of wasted time on these type of orders. So let's see what we get here. Let's see how long it takes them. Let's just park up here. I guess. Yeah. There we go. Maintenance parking only. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Guy met me. He was a security guard. Guy met me right up in the front. So, you know, it's kind of funny how we have to play these games with these apps on hiding tips because the Uber Eats hides them as well. Um, if the customer tips more than 8 bucks, they hide it. So, it's just crazy how we have to play these games and try to see the subtotal. And the... It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. It's long. It's not a hospital. It's like a medical... I don't know. Anyways. Front lobby. Let's see if we can get. Here we go. Let's get in right here. Twenty-two dollars went from eleven to twenty-two. That had a fifteen-dollar tip on it. So I was off by eight bucks. I thought maybe it was going to be thirty. That's a great order. Twenty-two dollars. I drove seven miles. Fantastic. Let's see what we get next. All right, we got a six twenty-five. I forgot to take a screenshot, but I took it after I accepted. Wing stop. As you see here, six twenty-five. This dash, two miles. Wing stop, about a mile from it, and then another mile or so. After I pick it up, I said, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, three items, I think it was. Doesn't matter. It's six bucks for two miles. I mean, not going to complain at all. Plus, that is a hidden tip indicator. So let's go pick this bad boy up and see what we get. Maybe they'll stack it. It's 11 28 We've made, I think, 49 bucks.
and this wing stop we're going to is the one that the guy walked in and was acting like rude and the girl's like you gotta be a mask you can't grab the bag that's not your bag and then he comes back in you can't what are you doing in here so same wing stop so uh let's see what let's see what's popping in there today when at my local wing stops it's always something i don't know about y'all's i mean wing stop is a place to be man especially if you go there past eight or nine o'clock and the lobby's open you're gonna see some craziness at a wing stop all right that stacked uber eats that we did was it a stack the first Uber Eats, yes, stack. It went from, uh, from I think it showed me 16 or, anyways, it went to 21. We're over 50 bucks already. We've been out for an hour and 40 minutes or so. So not bad. I'm feeling the vibes today. And Uber Eats has been sending me all kinds of orders. Usually it's not that busy at this time uh, for lunch for Uber Eats. They're not all been, they haven't all been good, but I've done three Uber Eats, right? At the stack and then the single one. Usually I don't do any by now, but it is what it is. Let's do this wing stop. We're almost here, and uh, this is the world's this is the world's largest pothole divot going into a uh, what do you call this parking lot? I'm gonna show, I'm gonna pull in here with you guys and see how bad this is. Watch this. This guy's gonna let me go. Look at how bad this. Watch this. Watch this. Look. That is a bump. I'm gonna do a video, probably the beginning of the next year talking about just how much depreciation value i've lost on the car estimated based on since i've been doing this full time in 2021 how many miles i put on the car how much i've spent on the car maintenance and whatever else it's not that much but my depreciation on the car is definitely a lot man uber eats is going off like crazy it's gone off four more times just in the last three four minutes none of them are good so must be some kind of promotion going on or obviously it's payday for a lot of people it's friday it's lunchtime people got excited they got money in the bank i'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket keep up what sounds different so let's drop this bad boy off just about a mile and a half away i'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket keep up <laughs> who's that from y'all come on now come on he's he's a newer artist but not that new but he's he's a banger man Look at this delivery van, Lona's Little Eats. It's got a tiger on the back. That's cool. All right, something's going on with Uber. My Uber app never, and I mean, I repeat, never, regardless of time of day, goes off this much. Every 10 seconds, I'm getting an offer. The issue is they're far miles. I don't know what's going on. They gotta be running a promo. So I'll just be grateful that it's busy and uh, take the good ones. All right, so they said, I got an address, and this is corner of California. And Gravelly. Gravelly is the main street. California is the street kind of behind me, so... Um, it's not that. That's 2771. It could be this. It could be this building right here. Listen, man. I can't. Listen. These people nowadays. Another happy customer. And of course, there's some more hidden tip action. 625 is a magic number. Got an extra dollar out of that. I'll take it. Uber Eats still keeps going off. Let's see what we got coming out on DoorDash from Panera. All right, I had to, okay, take a look. This is what I see here. 1050, two orders, 5.9 miles. Then I see 20 items. I'm like, damn, I just did Panera. They gave me a banger. Now I'm looking at the drop-offs. Okay, it's going downtown. One of these is going to be a banger. I haven't looked yet. I like to share everything with y'all in real time. Would you have taken it? So 50 cents less than that one we did earlier, but less miles. Two, one of these could be a small order. This is what my expectation is, I think, going in. One's gonna be like a $20 or less single person order, possibly no tip. And then the other one is going to be a banger. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm right on the money. One of them is $18, as you see here. And the other one's $160. Exactly what I expected. I saw 20 items and I was like, yep, I know that Panera. I know how they rock and roll. I know my market. All right. This is going to be more than $10.50. And even if it isn't, it's still good miles to money, but it's going to be. Uh, I just know it. Now, I haven't looked to see if the small $18 one is no tip, but it don't matter. I'm just going to keep both of them just in good faith and good spirits. I'm not going to even dissect it any further because what you can do is you can tap on the question icon on the top right of your phone then you can select one of the orders doesn't matter you can select like the small one per se based on name and then you can hit can't do this order and then it will tell you what your new payout will be 
For example, I've, I've talked about this many times, but I know new people come here. For example, this is showing us 1050. So if it tells me that after I unassigned that small one, my new payout is, is gonna be 850 per se, right? Then that tells me the one that is small is only $2. There's no tip on that, right? And I could let that go and they could give me another one that's better, they couldn't, who knows. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to keep both of mine. I'm going to look. I'm not going to jinx myself. Uh, I, I'm i thinking it's 160 What? You're, you're talking $20, $25 tip, right? So I expect this to go up to somewhere between 20 to 23 uh, maybe up to 30 32 Now, the only thing with this particular order is it could definitely, I might be here for a while. Listen, I might be here for a minute, but... I've made good money so far. It's only 11.46. I'm probably going to be here 15, 20 minutes, but I think it's kind of worth it to see it out and see what this winds up being. This could be a really nice order. Um, you know, if they leave a 20% tip, what's 20% of 160? That's $32, right? So, I mean, I'm just saying, even 10% of that would be 16, and the offer would still be more than um, than it's showing me. So we're going to do this pickup drop-off. That's going to be the video. I'm going to end the video a little early today. I've already rambled. I'm sure it's longer than it needs to be. I know some of y'all like the long videos. 30 minutes is usually where I'm at. Some of you guys don't. At the end of the day, I like them. I feel like it's a little episode. And I give you guys an episode every day of what happens, everything that you see, everything I go through. It is what it is. But I got some things to do, and I want to keep the video maybe a little shorter than 30 minutes a day. I don't even know. Maybe it's longer. I have no idea. But I want you guys to put down below how much is this order going to wind up being? 1050 is it going to go more than that? Is it going to stay the same? Am I going to be disappointed? Or am I going to be happy? Is it going to be $30 plus? Is it going to be $25? I've already showed you earlier, 11 went to what? 22. So what's this one going to go to? So right now we're at $29 and I'm still waiting on one tip on Uber Eats. We're at $29 and we're at 29 on the DoorDash app. So we're at 60 bucks, probably 62, 63 when the other tip comes through. Okay. If this one winds up being a banger, I could be at $100 at like 12.30. And we started at 9.45, 9.50, something like that. Whew. I'll take that every day of the week. What about y'all? Good job, wish me luck. See what we get. Hopefully they got it together. Uh-oh, that's not good. No bueno, guys. No bueno. I'm gonna be here for 30 minutes, y'all. Trust and believe, but I'm gonna wait. Got the small one, need the big one. Listen, I'm the multi app king. Look, I snagged this one as well. Uber Eats, 10 bucks, one mile, going in the same direction as the other two. Waiting on the big order. This is gonna be a banger day. Definitely one of the longest times I've ever waited, but you know what? I took a chance. Let's see if it works out. I'm having a good day. Plus, I snagged that $10 Uber Eats going on the way. You know, this could wind up being. At least it's $20, I know that. I think it's gonna wind up being like 40 plus all combined. Let's see what we get. We'll drop these off and we'll call right. it a vlog. Let's drop it off, this is right here. Hello, sir. The drinks are in the back too, okay? They are in the back? Yes. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're all that. set, you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Thank, Thank you, you too. Not as much as I thought, but all in all, still a good order. So it was $17 chip, $19 order. The second one I got in the back is $4, so we're gonna call it uh it's gonna it's 24 bucks basically um so it went from what did it show us 10 10 50 to 24. i thought it was gonna be a little bit more but i'm happy with that plus we got the 10 dollars. so that that trip that amount of time we've spent because we got the 10 dollar uber it's 34 dollars. so all in all that that still was about a about what i thought i'd make initially um that 10 dollar uber made up for the difference on this big order here listen i'm i'm happy with it we're, we're at 100 bucks so can't complain right, we're on some kind of campus it says leave it at the door i'm thinking it's this door up here i call they didn't pick up i don't know why that's how is the thing with customers they don't pick up it's kind of strange to me i think all right she called me back so uh, we dropped it off we're done with that a little over 100 bucks uh i gotta do the math i'm pretty sure it's like yeah so not bad listen bet on you set goals one day at a time that's the video for the day. See you guys tomorrow. I got I got an interesting one tomorrow. Somebody sent me something. I'll give you guys a small little teaser. I'll say it here first. I haven't heard anybody else talk about it. Cash payments on delivery? Tomorrow.